My name is Brian Scarry. I am a underwater photographer. I specialize in marine wildlife. And this exhibit at the G2 Gallery called Ocean Wild represents pretty much my work over the last decade. If I had to pick one, I guess I would probably pick this image called First Encounter, which is a picture of my assistant standing on the bottom of the ocean next to a 45-foot, 70-ton southern right whale. Nobody had ever really been diving before with these whales. They had only been discovered about 10 years before. It was this sort of pristine population of whales that I thought would be in very healthy condition and would make a perfect contrast for the animals I had been photographing. As if performing on cue, we get down to the bottom and lo and behold, this whale just swims into the frame. And she ended up staying with us for about two hours that day. Even in my wildest dreams, I don't think I could have dreamt something like this. Over the 30 years that I've been diving, I've seen tremendous changes in the world's oceans. In just that span of three decades, I've seen fewer fish in the places I used to see a lot of fish. I see less sharks in the places I used to see many sharks. Coral reefs that used to be lush and healthy and alive are now dead. So I've often said that the world's oceans are dying a death by a thousand cuts. Probably the, the greatest thing that we can do to protect the planet is to create more marine protected areas. The ocean represents 98% of the biosphere. Four out of every five breaths that a human being takes comes from the ocean. And yet less than a fraction of 1% of the world's oceans are actually protected. My hope is that as awareness continues to grow and people realize that it's, it's our own survival that depends on protecting the ocean, we'll get up to 20 or 30%. And I think if we do that, the oceans and our planet has a chance. I wrote about this recently in a new book I have coming out, and I equated my dives in Japan like swimming through a, a fairy tale. Every day was like opening the pages of a storybook because there was this amazing cast of characters that I would encounter. I found this little guy, which reminded me like a, a Cheshire cat. I expected him to speak at any moment. It was a little tiny yellow goby living inside an abandoned soda can. And I was swimming along, and there was a bit of debris on the, on the bottom there everything from old tires to sewing machines to cans, not too nice. But it was very cool to see this little guy just living in there, sort of peeking out. And I kind of crept up on my, my arms and my elbows from a distance with a long lens and kind of made this little portrait of him. You know, I think there's a tendency by photographers sometimes to portray sharks as something dangerous. You know, it's not particularly hard to get a shark to open its mouth, especially if you're using bait, or to get a shark to look scary. But I really tried to resist that temptation because I didn't want to portray that perpetual myth of sharks being something to be afraid of or monsters. I was able to make this picture, which to me sort of summed up that respectful approach to coverage of sharks. It was this beautiful female tiger shark about 12 feet in length that was swimming along the bottom with three little silver bar jacks off her nose and she began to ascend up toward the surface. She just sort of turned for this moment and I was able to make a picture where the bar jacks um, created shadows on her face. And to me it was a, a gentler, more graceful and as I say respectful view of this animal that has been portrayed as a monster but isn't that at all. They're just one very important part of an ecosystem that depends on them. I want to say thank you for visiting the G2 Gallery and my exhibit Ocean Wild. We have so little idea about what happens in the ocean, but these moments, these, these glimpses of when gesture and light and motion all come together, hopefully intrigue us to wanting to learn more. I hope you'll come back and visit the G2 again because there's always great stuff going on here.